Hey everyone, welcome back for a little TLC. So we're still talking about remaining in Christ um, as we were instructed to do in John chapter 15 where Jesus tells us to remain in him so that we might bear much good fruit. Um, last week we talked about praise as a way for us to remain connected to God. And today I want to talk about prayer as a way to stay connected to God. I will be honest with y'all. I had recorded a very long video about you know how to pray, the importance of prayer and all of that. And I woke up this morning and was like, I need to scrap that <laughs> because we have made things so incredibly deep when it comes to prayer. There are folks who I will not name who are charging $1,500 or so to teach people about prayer. And it's really not that deep. And so I'm going to scale things back and just give a very short video, a short challenge, um, some homework that will hopefully, hopefully inspire you to pray and know that it's really not that deep. So let's get into it. itself is just communication with God. Just like you would talk to your father, your mother, your friend, that is how you can you can talk to God. Um, it is talking to God, laying your requests before the Lord, and also listening to the Lord. Listening for a response. When you're talking to somebody, you don't just talk, 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 and never expect for them to respond. So prayer is simply that talking to the Lord and listening for a response as well. Um, sometimes people don't hear from the Lord audibly and that's totally normal. So you can hear from the Lord through confirmation, through sermons you may hear or hear from the Lord through reading the word of God and that will provide you confirmation. But it's really just about talking to the Lord, spending time with the Lord and then listening for a response. We know that prayer is important because Jesus did it. There are times when Jesus would get by himself because he needed to spend time with the Lord and pray to the Lord. And so this is also something that we should be doing, but it doesn't have to be as deep as we have made it seem. Um, it's just important for us to set aside some time to actually pray. You don't always have to be on your knees. You don't always have to be laid out <laughs> laid out on the ground in order to pray. Sometimes I pray simply by journaling. I may be laying in my bed. I might be at the office and I just say a quick word of prayer. If we're taught to pray without ceasing, then we should be able to say a few words to the Lord no matter where we are. It's not this religious thing where we have to be doing it a certain type of way or where it has to look like another way that a person does it for it to qualify as prayer. That's the thing about serving a God who is everywhere and a God who knows all things. We don't have to be doing things a certain way for the Lord to hear us. If you need some instruction on how we're supposed to pray, then I encourage you to read Matthew chapter 6, where Jesus himself provides some tips for how we should pray and also how we should not pray. Crack open your actual Bible, log into your Bible app, and check out Matthew chapter 6 if you need some tips on prayer. Y'all, it is not that deep. But the important thing is for us to make time to pray. Okay? That's really the gist of it. Make time to pray. Communicate with the Lord who wants to hear from you. There is a scripture in Hebrews, I should probably know this, that says, uh, well, I mean, the gist of it is that because of Jesus, we can boldly approach the throne of grace and find grace and mercy in our time of need, something like that. All right. So I totally butchered that. It comes out of Hebrews chapter four. I'll start reading at verse 15 and it reads, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I went too far off. That the important part is you can boldly approach the throne of grace. That is what Jesus came for. The veil is split so you can go before the Lord for yourself. So do it. Make time for it. All right. 
I would love to know what you all think about this. What are some ways that help you get your prayer in and make prayer a routine for your life? Um, What are some things that might hinder you from praying? Again, check out Matthew chapter 6 if you need specific tips. Pray, 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 pray. The Lord wants to hear from you. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you next time for a little TLC. Bye-bye.